Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now here in my hands, another flashlight from the company Through Night. Through Night sending this to me for review. This here, this is the Catapult V6 version two. Now I never had the V6 in the first place, but Through Night asking if I could compare it against the Olight Frayer, which for me, and I'm starting to open the box for the very first time, makes me think that it's going to be in a very similar form factor. Now I've looked at Catapult lights from Through Night in the past. I've taken a look at their Catapult Pro, the Catapult Mini, and here the V6, whoa. So this is already, at an initial glimpse, larger quite a bit than the Frayer. So this starts the review, but right away I'm like, oh, this tan is beautiful. I love Through Night's tan. It's absolutely gorgeous. So what we're going to do today, we're going to take a look at this in detail. I'm literally opening the box right now. We're going to take a look at this in detail. I'm going to get it outside for some beam shots, hopefully... I'll compare it against the Frayer just in terms of some of the general overall specifications and some of the features. But with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Through Night who did provide this for review. And so as we get into this, again, the Catapult V6. And I guess, I mean, the box is saying version 2. So again, V6 version 2. And as we flip it around here, you can see V6 version 2 in desert tan and the cool white. No problem. I like that very much. I have done some cool white versus neutral white you know, reviews in the past. Either one is great. The cool white's going to be fantastic for this, where it's going to be a bit of a searchlight. And then again, the desert tan. Now, I've had the metal gray, I've had the black, and I've also had the tan. But I do have to say right away, this is a nice big honking flashlight, and I love seeing it in the tan. This is beautiful. Now, as we remove this, you always need to tighten down the battery. So as we get into here and twisting the head, now that's going to get the light into the on position. But before we do that, let's start by actually going the opposite direction. So we're going to pop this out and you're going to see here, this is the through night 5,000 milliamp hour 3.7 volt. 26 650 lithium ion battery, which translate to 18.5 watt hours. These batteries are very effective. They work very well. Through Night always doing a magnificent job with their batteries. And as we get this into place here, and then again, threading it back down, this is a fully gasketed light. So fully gasketed and tightening this down again. There you go. Now that is the only part that actually uh, threads on, so that's something worth considering. Oh, I lie, the tail cap does as well. So the tail cap does also unthread. So not just the head, but the tail cap as well. So now everything nice and tight. You'll see that I was able to long press on the side switch. Long press does kick on that Firefly mode at 0.3 lumens. Now I can tell you already because of the size of this ultra smooth reflector inside the head, even 0.3 lumens is going to absolutely beam off into the distance. So this is going to have a magnificent throw, all things considered. Turning the light off and single pressing. This is going to now allow me to long press between the modes. So as I long press here, low, medium, high, low, medium, high. Now I feel like if I put this in the medium mode, so low, medium, and just leave it there for a second. Depending on the programming, let's see what happens. Now at this point, if I long press, yes, it goes back into the low mode. So Through Night recently has been changing some of their programming so that if you're in one of the intermediate modes and you wait a little bit, at that point, it goes back to the low mode. So long press, medium, high. The low mode here, 31 lumens. Long press, medium, 270 lumens. Long press, high, that is... 1,417 lumens. Now again, that Firefly mode will last 70 days. 
the low mode, which is 31 lumens, 86 hours, the medium mode, nine hours, the high, this is 102 minutes. Now with the light on, if I double press, that's the turbo, 2,836 lumens that will last for 220 seconds, and then it will dim down to sort of below the high mode for 89 minutes. Keep in mind, this is 120,000 candela. 120,000 candela is really, really starting to get fun. This is going to be a beaming monster. Now, if I turn on the light and then double press, that's turbo. Another double press is going to be the strobe. So you do access turbo with the light on and then strobe from the turbo mode. So that's something to consider. Generally speaking, beautiful construction all the way around. As you take a look, awesome diamond pattern. I really like the way that looks. That's gorgeous. You have this big round head and then all the way around the body, it's kind of angled, which is funny because no matter what you do, this is simply going to roll around. You have to either tail stand that, which you certainly can, or I would probably just put it down on the head. But this would be a nice little lantern if you just kind of click the light and maybe put it in the low mode for the example stand that upright, beam it off of the ceiling. So here you can see just kind of setting the light down, beaming it off of the ceiling. That's going to illuminate a nice broad area. So very effective. Coming in the package, you can see does have a couple little extras. So a key ring ends up with a lanyard. Looks like inside here, spare O-ring and charging compartment cover. Then your USB type C charging cable and this light absolutely needing a sheath. So your sort of carry sheath or holster here, very simple nylon, gives you the ability to install the light, put this over the top, get it on your belt, has a D-ring attachment, very simple. So at this point, it is absolutely time to get this out for some beam shots. Now you can see as we get out here, general navigation with the catapult. Now keep in mind the fact that this is going to be a thrower. So here on the 0.3 lumen Firefly Moonlight mode, you can see a very tight beam, but it does have a beam. And at 0.3 lumens, the ability to actually see on the ground, that's not the norm. And as we work our way over, this should be a pretty good time to maybe see some wildlife if we're careful and lucky. So I know there's a lot of wildlife around here, but the 0.3 lumens beaming off, it does kind of drop off after about 15 feet, but up close, you can clearly see up against this tree. It is a very cool beam. It's tight. There's not a lot in the way of spill, and it is an extremely tight and defined hotspot. So now again, as we get into the different modes, a long press, again, that is the Firefly mode. Now beaming off into the distance, you're literally not gonna see anything, but you can see here up against my hand. So that is the Firefly mode. Turning the light off and then back on, I'm gonna cycle between the different modes. So here at this point, this is the low mode. So the low mode beaming down into the water. You can see that is about 20 feet in front of me where it's casting onto the water. Over to the left hand shore, you can see actually a nice tight spot. If there was wildlife over there, I would absolutely be able to see it. And now without the light, you can see pretty dark and hard to tell. But with the light there, again, in the low mode, no problem. Now, as I range to the right, that nice tight beam it does start to drop off with my eyes. I can still see over there pretty good. As I zoom in just a little bit, if there was wildlife over there, I would certainly be able to see it. It might be a little bit difficult, but I would be able to see it. All the way out to the far shoreline. Again, you can barely see the light, but it is kind of showing. Now it doesn't do anything for my ability to identify anything, but merely just kind of seeing the light bouncing off the trees. A long press, that's the medium mode. Now that's starting to do something. At this point, beaming all the way across, a perfect reflection. You can see, beaming off of the water, perfect reflection. And if there was wildlife over there, I would definitely start to be able to see it. 
with that medium mode now up into the trees. So a pretty good amount of light all the way over. This is gonna have a nice run time. It's not gonna kill the battery. And then over to the right hand side. Now this is close enough. I can absolutely positively identify anything over there. A good amount of light in that medium mode and doing a nice job to illuminate the shoreline off to the right hand side. Up and into the trees, easily seeing what's going on up there, no problem. That tree is probably about 50 feet tall, doing a nice job to illuminate. Now again with the programming, a long press dims down, now medium high. So this here is the high mode, really starting to light things up. This is a huge amount of light, nice cone of light all the way out. And at this point, you can kind of see it does have a little bit of spill. Now, generally speaking, mostly hot spot. You can see really lighting things up. I mean, that's a good amount of light. You can really see what's going on there. Again, as I zoom into the picture in that high mode, more than enough light to positively identify anything off into the far shoreline. That is about 200 feet away good amount of light just a wall of light and i could see anything that's going on over there if there were deer if there were beaver if there were people no problem literally lighting everything up now off to the right hand shoreline again you can see that mirror image just a wall of light all the way up into the trees on the far shoreline. Those trees are much taller. Those are probably 60, 70 foot tall trees. No problem. Now a quick double press. That's the turbo. Turbo absolutely full blast lighting everything up. I can feel the heat coming off of the flashlight now. Just an insane wall of light. The catapults are extremely impressive lights really seriously lighting everything up with ease, way more than enough light. I mean, this flashlight has so much capability, it's crazy. And now at this point, another quick double press, that's the tactical strobe, so you can see extremely disorienting beam. And at this point, a single press, and it's off. This is the frayer. This is the catapult. Frayer, catapult. Frayer, catapult. Frayer, catapult. Frayer, catapult. Turning it up, frayer, catapult, frayer, catapult, frayer, catapult, all the way to high, frayer, catapult, frayer, catapult. Frayer, catapult. Frayer, catapult. Now the frayer also having multiple modes. Red, green, and blue. Red. Green. Blue. And off.
There is a beaver. It's going to be almost impossible for you to see it. But he's right in that beam. He just went under. He's pissed. Smacking his tail. Let's see if we can keep a bead on him. It's under there somewhere. Now just one more set of beam shots here as I long press. Again, here you can see that is that firefly mode. I'm going to turn that off. A single press here. And I'm going to cycle between the modes. So here the low mode off into the distance. Just starting to die out. That's the low mode. Not getting too far off but you can see on the far shoreline it is capable of illuminating off to the left hand side and then also off to the right hand side. Enough light that I could definitely see what's going on on the close shorelines but not too much further than that. At this point, a long press, that's going to be the medium mode. Now the medium starting to beam off. You can see at this point there is a log down in the middle of the river, which this does a nice job overall illuminating no problem. So if there was anything over there, I would clearly identify exactly what it is. Now again, a long press goes into the low mode. Now long press medium high. So the high mode really starting to light things up. This is doing a fantastic job with the overall illumination over to the side. You can see very clearly everything that's going on here. So way more than enough light, even in the mist. And that's the nice thing about Candela. Candela definitely having the ability to punch through the mist. That is the difference in some ways between Candela and Lumen. So doing a real nice job to light everything up and way off in the distance. Now the mist is going to get in your way, but you can see my ability to illuminate far off into the distance. Now at this point, another long press, so low, medium, high. That was the high mode, a double press here to turbo. Turbo lighting everything up. I mean, just a huge wall of light. And again, this does give you an idea of that centralized cone just a crazy cone of light way off in the distance and now you can see the spill off to the sides lighting everything up at this point now that I'm in the turbo mode a double press that's gonna be your tactical strobe and off and so all right guys there you have it a look at the through night catapult v6 version 2 now I have to say I'm extremely happy with this flashlight I'm impressed I like the form factor a lot the look the fit the finish and the functionality fantastic I do greatly enjoy that now in terms of it against the frayer two completely different lights clearly you could see by the form factor and the side-by-side -side comparison clearly you could see by the beam shots and the most notable thing I mean the super hot and tight spot to the through night catapult v6 and then a little less spot with the frayer but also the multicolor leds so in my opinion kind of apples and oranges the overall function a little bit different and the user interface definitely different so in my opinion can't really compare them they're two different lights but from just the standpoint, this through night catapult version two V6, amazing. And I do have to say all of the catapult lights are awesome. So any one in the catapult series are just awesome. So I am extremely impressed. I can say I absolutely can recommend this. I could see this being perfect for search and rescue. I could see it being a great spotlight for what I was doing, it's actually seeing wildlife at night that was awesome you could use this for inspections it would be wonderful i'd like to see maybe a hard cradle for this i would love to like shoulder mount this thing and just have it like right on my shoulder i like the mm, nylon for its intended purpose but i think when you start getting into a light like this having a hard cradle would just be awesome i'd love to put it on like a strap of a backpack and just you know have it there 
probably on this side for me actually because i'd have my knife on this side flashlight that it would be awesome so all in all i do have to say thank you very much to the people at through night for providing this for review and for the rest of you, if you like this content, do me a favor. Take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. At this point, that channel is growing quickly. I have a ton of videos up there. So if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless 2. So all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.